What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Daily Boosters. It is Saturday and you know that means it's a larger product opening for the video and as you can already tell we have a Destined to Conquer pre-release pack from Born of the Gods. I'm pretty upset at myself though because I started filming another video for today and I did not look at how much time I had left on my recording device. I was about three minutes in and I noticed the time start flashing or blinking and I only had four minutes and eight seconds, I believe, of recording time on the uh, memory left. So I had to stop that entire opening. Hopefully I can bring you that product I was opening tomorrow, um, depending on if I can get my hands on that product again before then. So. Without further ado, we're just going to get right into this for today's video. It is a Born of the Gods, as I said, pre-release pack, unopened, still has the tape. Um, there's a few of these, I, th I guess one for each color, I believe, for this set, um, for the pre-release packs. I've never opened one. This is one of the larger pre-release boxes I've ever opened. I don't think there's any text to read. Nope. Um, this is from 2014. So, let's get right into it. I believe there is um, some Theros packs, or Teros, however the hell you say that set. Um, but, so, this should be pretty interesting. Destined to Conquer. Is, I'll let you read that. Pretty cool art. Oracle of the Titan's Stairs. Sorry for hitting the camera. And there's some deck arc. Archetypes, I guess. Um, archetypes. Uh, as you can tell, my vocabulary sometimes is terrible with magic. Um, you can read what that says. Not too interested in that. What is this? Master Your Destiny. Don't know what that is. But there's that. Cool. Alright. I knew we got a seated pack. Um, what is this? I don't know, I'll have to look into that. Exile the Warmonger. Creatures you control get plus two and plus zero and gain haste until end of turn. But that is not a real card. So, I also get that. I get a life counter from Born of the Gods, so I can add this to my collection. That is pretty neat. And we'll keep that to the side. So we get a seated pack promo. It is a dragon. Oh, man. I've been playing my buddy with a... Uh, Dragon deck after I bought the Dragons of Tarkir booster box. So that is awesome. I can add a pre-release promo to that deck. Alright, and we get three Theros packs. And two of the set that the pre-release is for, Born of the Gods. Get the box out of the way. We got the two Born of the Gods we'll do last. Three Theros. Let's crack into our seated pack. I'm pretty excited that it is a dragon. Let's see if I can get into this pretty easily or not. Doesn't look that way. You know, I started opening this after uh, starting the other video. I completely forgot that we get a stamped promo. So there it is. It is Forge Stoker Dragon, a 5-4 dragon with flying. It is a foil. It does have the 2014 uh, date, if you can kind of see it there. Uh, if you tap one and one mountain, Forge Stoker Dragon deals one damage to target creature. That creature can't block this combat. Activate this ability only if Forge Stoker Dragon is attacking. That is pretty neat. I'm actually going to sleeve that up right away. If I can get a sleeve. Let me know if you guys played uh, Magic during this time. I'll just go through uh, the uh, seed pack really quick. So we got Scouring Hands, a Sorcery. Satire Fire Dancer is the rare, or one of the rares. I forget how many is in here. Whenever an instant or sorcery spell you control deals damage to an opponent, Satire Fire Dancer deals that much damage to target creature that player controls. Pretty cool. 
Akron Phalanx, Phalanx, Pinnacle of Rage, I'm not even going to pronounce that word, Kragma Butcher, and Minotaur Warrior, Marsh Mist Titan, I also uh, struggle reading some of these words because I'm supposed to be wearing glasses, I broke them a while ago at work and just don't wear any glasses now, so trying to read these sometimes is tough i'm like literally squinting behind a damn camera fall of the hammer retraction helix fairs band trumper a 3-3 centaur warrior bolt of kernos another sorcery a mirfolk wizard deep water hypnotist i think i already have one of those nyx born rollicker a another satire creature it's pretty cool it's an enchantment Satessan Starbreaker, Human Warrior, and Nyx Born Shieldmate, another human soldier. So that is the Seeded Pack. You get two rares out of the Seeded Pack, one being the pre release promo. So I'll keep the pre release promo out. Fuck it. We'll keep all the rares out. Excuse the language. All right, first, Arrows Pack. And yes, I have plenty of time to record this video. Deleted a lot of the older videos. First pack, uh, let's see. We'll just go through the uh, comments. First uncommon is Vanquish the Foul Sorcery. Then we got Akron Hoplite, a 2 1 2 human soldier. Dauntless Onslaught, up to two target creatures, each get plus two, plus two until end of turn. And the rare is an artifact creature. It is a 10-10 Golem, Colossus of Akros. Defender, indestructible for 10 mana. Uh, it has monstrosity 10. If this creature isn't monstrous, put 10 plus one, plus one counters on it, and it becomes monstrous. That's insane. That's pretty insane. As long as Colossus of Akros is monstrous, it has trample and can attack as though it didn't have defender. That is a pretty neat card. That's the first Theros pack. If you hear my dog bark all of a sudden, it's because I have the door open and the front door open. He loves barking at people who walk by. I have a five-year-old or six-year-old red-nosed pit bull. He's really friendly to people, but I don't know, with dogs, he's kind of freaky. I don't know. It makes me nervous. Go through the uh, uncommon, or I'm sorry, the commons. First uncommon of this pack, Phalanx Leader, Human Soldier. Ordeal of Forfros. I guess is how you would say that. Forfros? Forfros. Cutthroat Maneuver. An instant, and the rare is a legendary human soldier, Daxos of Meletis. Why are some of these words just so freaking confusing to say? Anyway, you can see what it says. I will read the top part. Daxos of Meletis can't be blocked by creatures with power 3 or greater. You can read the bottom because that is a book. That's pretty cool. And we also have a uncommon foil, Stone Shock Giant, a 5-4 giant creature with monstrosity. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, yep, yeah, I got everything in that pack. All right, last Theros pack. This is a pretty cool uh, pre-release kit. I told myself I wasn't going to do a pre-release kit this weekend just so, since I did... What, once, one every last two weekends or three weekends, uh, but just so it turns out that I uh, messed up recording and had to start another video. Go through the uh, comments. Time to feed. First uncommon, as I hit the camera, is a Sphinx. A Sphinx, as I should say. That's pretty cool. Horizon Scholar, 4-4 four, four Flyer. <laughs> Anvil Watt Raptor. Anvil Rot Raptor. 2 1 Flyer. Artifact Creature Bird. 
Farika's Mender, a 4-3 Gorgon, and the rare is Temple of Triumph. Enters the battlefield tap. When Temple of Triumph enters the battlefield, scry one. Pretty cool. We have two packs left. Two Born of the Gods booster packs. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Can we pull a mythic from one of these two packs? Come on. Jesus. I'm making a trash pile to the right of the screen here. Epiphany Storm. That is sick artwork. Go through these pretty fast. Necrobite. Sudden Storm. First uncommon is Archetype. Of Endurance, a 6-5 boar, I guess? Yeah, boar. Sorry, I'm squinting again. Gorgon's Head. Oh, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Sanguimency. How about that? And then we got Fate Unraveler. It is a... Yep, I read that right. It is a hag. This is a hag. Whenever an opponent draws a card, Fate Unraveler deals one damage to that player. Eh, I'm sorry. I don't think I'll be playing any hags anytime soon. And she's not a mythic. <clears throat> so far, my favorite card is the dragon promo. Last, Born of the Gods booster pack. They're trash. Let's get that little piece of trash out of here. Go through the uh, commons. Set tire Wayfinder. Attraction Helix, Nyxborn Eidolon, Bolt of Kernos, Mortal, Mortal's Ardor. You can see, blah 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 blah, Deepwater Hypnotist. I guess that's in both sets because that looks like the exact same card from one of the Theros packs. Alright. Last couple cards here as I hit the camera again, putting the cards down. Shrike Harpy is a 2 2 flying harpy creature. Akron Conscript. Scripter, a 3-2 Human Shaman, Siren Song Lear, and the Rare. Yep, not a mythic. I swear to God, these words, man, are crazy. Tromocratus. Tromocratus? Let me know. It is an A8 Kraken. Blah blah has hexproof unless it's attacking or blocking. Blah blah can't be blocked unless all creatures defend a player controls block it. So what's that? Can't be blocked unless all creatures defend and player controls block it. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. And we end it with a foil. Dawn to Dusk. Choose one or both. Return target enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand and or destroy target enchantment. So we get two foils. No mythics. <clears throat> Best card out of this whole pack was the promo. Forge Stoker Dragon. Alright, that is a Born of the Gods pre-release pack. Didn't want to open that today, but we had to. Please leave a like. Please subscribe for more videos. I hope the videos are somewhat entertaining. I hope you enjoy the openings of the products. Blah, blah. I will try and do, as I said, the product I was going to open today tomorrow. If not, we'll have another product for you. Please subscribe for more videos. Until then, peace.